Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. If you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. It's the holiday season, so you know what that means. It's time for Christmas slash holiday sweaters. I've actually never made one, so this was pretty fun, and it might be the start of a new tradition, but we'll see. Now, while this is a holiday sweater, if you switch out the colors, it makes for a great oversized sweater too, so I'm happy with that. And if you're happy with seasonal pieces, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I've been hesitant to focus on seasonal projects, but if you guys are into it, let me know by showing love, and I'll come up with more fun things to make. Now, I've got to get back to my workshop, so enjoy the video. And without further ado... For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 700 grams of yarn, or that's 1400 yards if you're stateside, and the individual measurements are going to be on the screen. As for tool, a 5 and a 6.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCTDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this sweater started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain the length that we want our collar to be. Now, I want mine to be about 3 inches or 7 centimeters, so I'm going to start off by making a chain of 15. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain and do a chain up of 1. This is our turning chain. And from here, we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, with a slip stitch. So insert your hook. We should have two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. So pull through one and pull through two. Let's do one more together. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, and pull through both loops. We're going to put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we have slip stitch into every chain, we're going to do a chain up of one. This counts as our turning chain and flip our work. Now we're going to be doing back loop slip stitches. So instead of inserting your hook into both top loops like normal, we're going to be inserting our hook into the loop that's farthest away from us. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Let's do this again. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Once we make our way to the end of our row, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We're going to keep repeating this row until this can stretch around our head, making sure that we end on an even number of rows. And then I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know how many rows I have. Okay, so I'm back with the length of my collar. I have a total of 84 rows, and that's a total of about 14 inches or 35 centimeters unstretched. And once we have this, we're ready to seam our two sides together. So from here, I'm going to sandwich my two corners together, and since my working yarn is already in through one corner, I'm going to insert my hook into the back panel's corner stitch, yarn over, and pull through everything. And then from here, we're going to do outside loop slip stitches to seam our collar. So into the front panel, we're going to find that first stitch, and then insert our hook into that front loop, or the loop that's closest to us. And then into that back panel, we're going to find that next available stitch, and then insert our hook into that back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us. And then from here, we should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Let's do this again. Into that next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook into that front loop, and then into the next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook 
into that back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to continue to do our outside loop slip stitches until we don't have any more stitches left, and then I'll meet you back. Now that I have seamed my collar, I'm now going to single crochet along the bottom. So I'm first going to switch to my six and a half millimeter hook. And from here, we're going to do a chain up one, and then we're going to be putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's do the first few. This is my first side slip stitch row right here. I'm going to find that top loop. It may not be easy or very pretty because we don't have any real loops to go into. So we're just going to have to find one and then insert our hook. This is my next side slip stitch row right here, which is this divot. So I'm going to find that top loop and insert my hook and then single crochet. Let's do one more set together. My next side slip stitch row is this raised one. So I'm going to find that top loop insert my hook and then single crochet and then my next one is this divot find that top loop insert your hook and then single crochet we're going to continue to put one single crochet into every side slip stitch row until we don't have any more left to go into then we're going to slip stitch into that chain up one space all right we have done a chain up of one and cut after our single crochet row and we're now going to insert our stitch markers to separate the front and our back panel. I'm going to start off by inserting my first stitch marker into the first stitch that I have nearest to my tail end. And then from there, I'm going to insert my next two stitch markers into our two middle stitches. And we should have two because we have an even number of stitches here. So if you guys are going in with my numbers, I inserted my stitch markers into the 42nd and 43rd stitch. And then also my last stitch marker into the last stitch that I have nearest to my tail end. And we just want to make sure that we have the same amount of stitches on both sides. And now we're ready to get started on the body. All right, and now that our collar has its stitch markers in, we can actually set this off to the side and we're going to start working on our body. So from here, we're going to take our main body collar, if we're switching it out, of course, make a slip knot. And then from here, we're gonna start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of our sweater to be, keeping in mind that we will have a bottom band as well. So with my six and a half millimeter hook, I'm gonna make a chain that is 13 inches or 33 centimeters, or that's a chain of 40. And now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. This counts as our turning chain. From here, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, and then we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through that first loop, and now we should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops that's on our hook. Let's do the next one. We're going to yarn over and insert our hook into our next chain. Yarn over, pull through that first loop, should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all three. From here, we're going to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one because we're going to increase into there together. And now that we have half double crocheted into every chain, leaving the last one, we're going to do our increase together. So from here, we're going to yarn over. We're going to insert our hook into that last chain with one half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, and then put one more half double crochet into that same last chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. From here, we now have our super tiny underarm portion. And from here, we're going to make a chain that reaches up to the top of our shoulder. So I've already measured mine out and I'm going to make a chain that is six inches or 15 centimeters. And that's gonna be a chain of 25. And now that I have my shoulder chain, I'm going to block off my last chain and do a chain up of one. This counts as our turning chain. And then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert our hook with a single crochet. So insert, Yarn over, 
pull through one loop. We should now have two loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through two. Let's do one more single crochet together. So insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to put one single crochet into every chain. And now that we have put one single crochet into every chain, we're now going to put one back loop single crochet into each of these body stitches. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And also, let's do the next one. So insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. Now that we've made our way to the end of our back loop single crochet row, we're now going to start on our back loop half double crochet row. So after every back loop single crochet row, we're going to do a chain up of two. That's our turning chain for our half double crochet row. So go ahead and turn your work. And now we're going to be working with back loop half double crochets. So yarn over and start off by inserting your hook into that first available stitches back loop. So insert your hook and then half double crochet like normal. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through all three loops that's on our hook. Let's do one more. So go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop only, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on our hook. And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And when we get to the end of this row, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do a row of back loop single crochets again. And we're going to keep alternating between a back loop half double crochet and back loop single crochet row until we have a shoulder portion the size that we want. And then I'll meet you guys back after back loop half double crochet row so that we can connect it into the collar together. All right, so I am back with my shoulder portion and I now have a total of nine rows. I ended right after a back loop half double crochet row and now we can introduce our collar. So the first thing we're gonna do is insert our hook into the stitch that our stitch marker is in. So insert your hook into there and then we're going to yarn over and pull through everything to attach our body portion to our collar. And then what we're going to do from here is automatically flip our work and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. So insert your hook into that first back loop and then single crochet like normal. Once we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and then I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left to show you guys how we're going to connect it into the base. All right, so we have half double crocheted into every back loop, making our way back up towards the collar. And I'm just gonna show you guys how we're going to connect it. So since we ended on a half double crochet, we are going to be skipping the next stitch then inserting our hook into the second. So we're gonna count up one, count up two stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that second stitch. And then we're gonna yarn over, pull through everything. And now our half double crochet row is nice and attached. And since we are alternating between a back loop half double crochet and back loop single crochet row, for the next row, we're just gonna be slip stitching up one stitch. So insert your hook into that next stitch into the base, yarn over, pull through everything, and then flip our work. And then from here, put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And just like before, when we make it down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And then we're going to connect it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're gonna keep alternating between those two rows going all the way down until we hit our next stitch marker, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I have made my way all the way across to my next stitch marker. 
And what I'm going to do on this side is the same thing I did on this side, which is a shoulder portion for the same amount of rows. So since I'm along the top, I'm going to do a chain up of one. I'm going to flip my work and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When I wake my way down to the bottom, I'm going to do a chain up of two, flip my work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And then just keep alternating between those two rows until we have the same amount of shoulder rows. And a quick tip, if some of you guys actually ended along the bottom, start off by doing a chain out of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and then alternate from there. So just do whatever row is next in your sequence. And then I will meet you guys back once we have these rows done so that we can do our underarm row together. I now have the same amount of rows as my other shoulder portion. Since I actually ended at the top, I did a chain up of one and cut, and we're now ready to do our underarm together. But don't worry if you guys ended along the bottom, you guys don't need to cut, but no matter where we ended, we are going to need to first insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, I did a chain of 25. So on this side, I'm going to insert my stitch marker into the 25th stitch from the top. And then we'll be inserting our hook into the stitch next to my stitch marker nearest to the bottom. If you guys are along the bottom, do a chain up of two, flip your work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until you have two stitches right before your stitch marker. And then we can all decrease together. So let me insert my hook. I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch right next to my stitch marker, making sure I'm going into my back loop. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and then do a chain up of two. Once we have that, we are all going to decrease together. So we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Also insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all four. Now, if you guys worked your way up to your stitch marker, go ahead and do a chain up one and cut. But for those of you that are like me that are working down, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When you don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut, and then our front panel will be all finished. And then our back panel is going to be worked exactly the same way. I'm just going to remind you guys where to insert your hook. So go ahead and get the same underarm and shoulder rows finished up, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back with the underarm portion and the same amount of rows for my shoulder portion. I'm going to show you guys where we're going to insert our hook and then the rest of this is going to be worked exactly the same way as the front panel. So I'm going to take a look at the back of my collar. And then just like before, I'm gonna be inserting my hook into the stitch that I have my stitch marker in. And then from here, I'm going to yarn over, pull through everything. And for this first row, I'm going to work into the body, putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And then once we get to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And then repeat the entire front panel, and then I will meet you guys back so that we can seam our sides. All right, so we are back, and we have just finished up both our front and our back panel. Now we're going to seam our sides together. The first thing I'm gonna tell you guys to do is make sure that our work is slipped inside out if you switched out your colors for the body. And we're doing that so that all of these knots can be along the inside. But once when we have that, we're gonna insert our hook into the bottom corner of both the front and the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook and pull through. From here, do a chain up of one to secure everything together. Next, we're going to single crochet both the front and the back panel together. So go ahead and insert your hook into that next available stitch into the front panel. And then also into the next available stitch into the back panel. And then single crochet. Let's do one more together. So into that next available stitch into the front panel. Insert your hook. And then into the next available stitch into the back panel, 
insert your hook into there, and then single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this, working our way all the way up until we don't have any more underarm stitches left to go into. And then I will meet you back so that we can seam our shoulder. All right, now that we have seamed our side, we are now ready to seam our shoulders. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into the stitch that our front panel is coming out of and our back panel is coming out of into the collar. So this is the stitch for my front panel. And then this is the stitch for my back panel. So I'm going to insert my hook in through both of those stitches just to make sure that we don't have any gaps close to the collar. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through. From here, we're going to do a chain up of one to secure, and then we're going to be inserting our hook into the first available stitch that we have into the front panel, and then same thing into the back panel, single crocheting them together. So let's do the first few. This is my first available stitch into the front panel. So insert. Then this is my next available stitch into the back panel. So I'm going to insert into there as well. And then single crochet them together just like how we did for the sides. Let's do one more. This is my next side row. So I'm going to insert my hook into there. Then this is my next side row within the back. So insert my hook into there. And then single crochet. We're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. Once we have that done, do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same shoulder seam and side seam on the other side. Now that we have finished seaming our shoulder and our sides, we can now get started on our sleeve. So we are first going to grab our primary color, which is the same color as our body. We're going to grab our hook and then start off by inserting our hook into the stitch that's nearest our side seam. So I'm going to insert my hook into here, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and then do a chain up of one. From here, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every side row that we have. And I have just one side row right here, which is my side half double crochet row. So I'm going to insert my hook into there and then single crochet. From here, I have all of these shoulder stitches to go into. So I'm going to be putting one single crochet into each of these shoulder stitches. So let's start off by inserting our hook into that first stitch. Once we have that, you're going to single crochet. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next stitch and then single crochet. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way up and over. Once when we reach our other underarm row right here, put one single crochet into there. And then we're going to slip stitch into that chain up of one space, do a chain up of one to secure and then cut. All right, now that I have single crocheted around with my primary color, I'm now going to grab my next color and then we're going to get started with our sleeve. So I did do a chain up of one and cut with my previous color. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through and start this off by doing a chain up of two. And then from here for this first row, we're going to be putting one half double crochet into every stitch. So just to do the first one together, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook, into that first stitch, pull through, pull through three, and put one half double crochet into every stitch, and then I will meet you guys back at the end of this row. Now that I've half double crocheted all the way around, we are going to slip stitch into that second chain together to close off this row. So we're going to count up one, two chains. Insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, and pull through everything to close off this row. And from here, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and like our body, we're going to do a row of back loop single crochets. And that's one back loop single crochet into every stitch. So just to do the first one, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. I will meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so now that we have done our back loop single crochets until we don't have any more stitches left, let's slip stitch into that chain up of one space. So let's insert our hook into there, yarn over and pull through everything. And then just like the body again, we're going to do a row of back loop half double crochets. So we're gonna do a chain up of two. We will be flipping our work after every row and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. 
So just to do the first one with you guys, yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, and pull through three. And continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And we're gonna alternate between a back loop half double crochet row and a back loop single crochet row. And I have measured out my sleeve. I want my sleeve to be a total of 20 inches and that is without the cuff. So I'm gonna be alternating between two colors for about every four inches. I'll meet you guys back when I have my first section done to show you guys how to switch colors. All right, so I am back and I have a total of 12 rows and that is including our first single crochet row with our primary color. Now that I have that, I have done a chain up of one and cut and I will be showing you guys how to insert your next color. So it's still gonna be rows of back loop half double crochets and back loop single crochets. We just wanna make sure that our next row is going to be working in the opposite direction from our previous row because we wanna keep up with this ribbing. So take a look at your previous row and each of the loops on top is going to be in a teardrop shape. And in the direction that the curve of our teardrop shape is going, that's the direction that the previous row is going into. So since mine is faced this direction, for my next row, I'm going to be working in the opposite direction. And that is going to be a back loop single crochet row for me. So flipping my work, I'm gonna insert my hook into that first back loop. I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through and do a chain up of one, and then continue on with the same pattern. So put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, and for the next row, one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And since I'm alternating my colors, I'm going to do about four inches of each color except for the last two sections. My second to last will be three inches of red, and then my last will be one inch of white. But go ahead and do that. I will be doing a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can work on our cuff. All right, so I am back, and I have just finished up going in with the length of my sleeve. And now we're going to work on our cuff. So from here, I'm actually gonna grab my fourth color. And then for the first row, we're going to single crochet into every stitch while doing a decrease of two single crochet into every other. So let's get that started. I'm gonna insert my six and a half millimeter hook still into any one of these stitches. I'm gonna pull through and do a chain up of one. Into that next available stitch that we have, we're going to insert our hook with one single crochet. So insert with one. Into the next two stitches, we're gonna do a decrease. So insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, we should have two loops on our hook, and then also insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, we should now have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that is how we do a decrease of two single crochets. So let's do another set together. Into that next stitch, we're going to insert with just one single crochet. And then into the next two, a decrease of two. So I'm gonna insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. Also into the stitch after that, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three and keep alternating between one single crochet and then a decrease of two single crochet until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a slip stitch into that chain up one space and then we're going to work on the length of our cuff. All right, now that I have single crocheted all the way around with my fourth color, I'm going to take out my six and a half millimeter hook, insert my five millimeter hook, and now we're going to make a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. And I want my chain to be about four inches or 10 centimeters. So that's going to be a chain of 15. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain. Do a chain up of one. That chain up of one counts as our turning chain. So into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into there, yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over and pull through everything. We're gonna to continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we have slip stitched into every chain, we now need to connect it into the base. So from here, we're going to count up one stitch. 
So here's my next available stitch. I'm going to insert my hook into there, yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. And now this row is attached. Now let's go up to the next row. We're going to slip stitch into that next stitch into the base. So yarn over, pull through, flip our work, and just like for the collar, we're going to put in one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam it together. All right, so I've made my way all the way around with my back loop slip stitches, and then I don't have any more stitches left. So we are now going to seam up the two ends that we have doing outside loop slip stitches. So let's get that started. We're gonna start off by inserting our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel. We're gonna find that front loop and insert our hook into there. And then into the back panel, we're gonna find that first loop and then insert our hook into that back loop. So, insert, we should have three loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through three. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into the next available stitches front loop. And then into the back panel, insert your hook into that next available stitches back loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. We're going to continue to do this going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same exact thing that we did here on the other side. All right, so we have just finished up going in with both of our sleeves and we're now ready to go in with our bottom band. So this is gonna be pretty similar to the cuff. We're all gonna start off by inserting our six and a half millimeter hook into any one of these side rows. We're gonna insert our desired bottom band color yarn onto our hook. Pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into every side row that we have. So let's just do the first few together. My next side row that I have is this side half double crochet row. So I'm going to find that top loop and then I'm going to single crochet. And my next row is this side single crochet row. Find that top loop, single crochet. And we're gonna keep doing this, making our way all the way around until we don't have any more stitches left. Slip stitch into that chain up of one space and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we have single crocheted all the way around the bottom of our work, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our bottom band to be. I want mine to be about four inches or 10 centimeters. So with my same six and a half millimeter hook, I'm gonna start off by making a chain of 13. And now that we have our chain, just like for the cuff, we're gonna block off that last chain, do a chain up a one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook. I'm going to insert with a slip stitch. And then from here, put one slip stitch into every chain. And now that we have slip stitch into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the base. So find that next available stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. And now our first row is attached. Let's start our next row together as well. So slip stitch into that next stitch. So yarn over, pull through everything, flip our work, and now let's do a row of back loop slip stitches. So just to do the first few, we're going to be inserting our hook into that first available back loop. Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Make your way down to the end of this row, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Once we reach the end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam this up together. 
All right, so we have just made our way all the way around the entirety of the bottom of our piece, and now we're going to seam it up the same way that we have seamed the cuff. So just as a refresher, we're going to be inserting our hook into the first available stitches front loop. So go ahead and insert your hook into there. Then also into the first available stitches back loop into the back panel. So insert your hook into there. We should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three loops. Let's do one more. Into that next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook into that front loop, and then into the next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook into that back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. And now that we have finished our bottom band, our entire piece is all done. So the last thing we're gonna have to do is weave in all of our ends. We've woven in our ends and our very festive sweater is all finished. This was a lot of fun to work up. I always love a good variegated yarn, but the main thing I like about the sweater is that it's super easy to make. So you can make this in a second non-holiday colorway and you got a super comfy sweater. It's pretty great. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us a fun fact about yourself. Anything at all. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.